Hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome to another vlog. This is the one that you've all been waiting for for the past couple of weeks, I imagine. It's my new computer build. Uh, first, I'm going to show you um, how I've got my setup currently done. Um, and uh, this is actually my new computer, but had a little snafu, which I'll go into in a little bit. So, first of all, here is my new computer. This is how I've been using it for about the past, what, week and a half or so? So what happened is that the case for the computer it had a big dent in it. And so I had to RMA the case, but everything else came as well and worked fine. So I could not wait around and not use my new computer when everything but the case was sitting here. So let's go through here. We've got, uh, got my power supply here. It's a 700 watt power supply. Got my MSI motherboard everything is sitting upon here. I have my Intel i5 3570K. I just have the stock cooler on it. I'm not planning on doing any overclocking right away. So this, this works real well. Um, the processor's underneath there. For those of you not familiar, it's the processor's underneath the, the heat sink on there. But the stock cooler's doing real well. It's uh, in the, the low, low 30s Celsius uh, when it's just idle and it fully loaded, all four cores fully loaded. It uh, peaks up right around 70. So it's not not too shabby for the stock cooler. And then here we've got my new video card, which is kind of the heart of any gamer's system. This is the Radeon HD 7870. It's a pretty it's a pretty good deal for the card. Um, oh, I got my my RAM over here. My Ripjaw G Skill. I don't know if you can see. G skill, whatever there. It's the, uh, was it 1866? Yeah, DDR3 1866. So slightly faster than average RAM, but not, not like peak or anything. I'm not big into overclocking, so I don't know how much I'll do of that. But so I got two 8 gig sticks there, 16 gig of RAM. Uh, video cards, by the way, has got two gig video RAM on it. Then we continue over here. We have this is my new Blu ray burner. That's gonna be nice. I've got a few home movies that when you make them in HD, it's a pain to uh, render them down to do regular DVDs. And then here are my two hard drives. This is actually a hard drive I've had for months to do my recording on. So, what is this, a Seagate, I believe? Yeah, there you go. Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte drive. It's a... Uh, so you can see down here, 7200 RPM. It's the six gigabit per second uh, controller on there. And this is an exact duplicate. This uh, this my new hard drive, that's the OS and general programs. This is just recording video storage for the time being. Um, so we got two terabytes in there. We'll see how long that lasts. And then finally, the newest piece that just at long last came today, my case. Uh, the first delivery of the case had a big, big dent, like right about here, I believe. Or I, I'm not, I don't remember which side it was on. Right on the top, had a big dent about that long, and it was about at least like a quarter inch deep. And I didn't even bother taking it all the way out of the packaging. I just armed it right away. But I imagine it would have kept one of these sides from opening nicely. So at any rate, this is the. I got my little booklet here, the Rosewheel Challenger. Got one fan on the top of it. It's got one fan behind the, the bottom of the, the front down here. And it's got a third fan on, excuse me. Third fan in the back here, just a small one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this sucker together now. I believe I have all of the parts. Um, oh, and you can see the, the front panel. We've got eSATA, power, USB, which I'm hopefully is going to be USB 3.0, and then my audio and stuff, you know. Now, one last thing. You may notice, looking around here at all of the, the tangle of wires and parts, is that without the case, I don't actually have a power button. Now, building, building 
open air like this without anything being screwed to anything, uh, this was the part that actually gave me the, the most pause was that I would have to, in order to power this thing on, use my handy dandy power button. So I'll just do a quick demo of this because I find it to be mildly funny that, so what we do, I had to look this up in the instruction booklet, find out what all these pins are for. Right down here. Let me see if I can do this while I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> so what you do is you take a screwdriver and you short these two jumpers. And voila! Oh, focus. There we go. And we have life. And you can see everything's on. And I have Windows 8 on here. Windows 8, I'm actually liking a lot. Uh, it has really amazingly fast boot times. So that is really nice. Um, I actually will be able to turn my computer off from time to time because this thing starts up faster than my monitor turns on. It's amazing. Fr from sleep mode. Actual boot is a minute tops. So it's amazing. All right. Enough with this stuff, let's get on to actually assembling the sucker.
All right, everybody, I'm back and I believe we are complete now. I just took the time to, I had to look up some of the pins to make sure I got the front panel connectors all in the right places, but it looks like it is all done. So you can see this is, this is what it ends up looking like. Um, this is the, the biggest annoyance wire, the cable for me, I guess. There's just no, there's not enough length there to route it any other route to get up to that corner. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's messy, but I'm happy with it. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I'm not going to hardly ever see it again. So, uh, we're all set. We got this one funny hole over there that's just a punch out to hold the power supply down. There's a little tab that sticks through there. Uh, I routed the audio cable through there. So, that is that. Now, the moment of truth. We hook it up and cross our fingers. All right, we got it hooked up. This the ba basics, mouse, keyboard, video, power. So here goes everything. All right, powering up, booting up. Windows, awesome! It works! So thanks everybody for joining me on my computer build here. I'm looking forward to doing a, a lot of work with this computer. And uh, as, as you may have seen with the Tomb Raider videos already out, that uh, they'll do a lot, lot better quality games and have a lot, just a lot better looking stuff now that I've got this all set up. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time!